minor fabrications. In this, we are going to discuss about fabrics which are made without yarn and various types of nonoven fabrics. And uh, the nonoven fabrics are made without yarn and uh, only fiber is used. Fabrics made without yarn, nonoven fusible interlacing. The fiber content is polyester and no yarns are used. The resin dot coating is a finish that is applied. It is used in structural support. Nonoven is the most common type of interfacing. It is made in fusible and non-fusible types and in many weights. This nonoven is made using an entanglement process. We are going to discuss this nonoven fusible interfacing. Nonoven technology makes use of fibers and not yarns. A fabric is produced from fibers in such a way that uh, there is stability in that fabric. And uh, nonoven fabrics find application in many areas such as geotextiles and in road construction and also in house construction, in filtration and also in uh, medical textiles and in uh, agricultural industry and also in the sports. Imitation sewed. The fiber content is polyester and no yarns are used. Emboss, embossing is used as a finish. It is used in jackets, sportswear and skirts. This fabric is one of many sewed imitations. A common trade name for this non oven structure is ultra sewed. It is often difficult to discern this fabric from actual sewed without a burn test. The fabric is a good substitute because it is washable, animal friendly and infinitely easier to care for. Needle punched felt. The fiber content is polyester. No yarns are used. It is used in jackets, hats, bags and scarves. Needle punched or Imitation felt is made by the entanglement process. Actual felt is made with at least 50 percent animal hair wool that is matted together with heat, moisture and agitation. We are going to discuss a sample of needle punched felt fabric. Now needle punching is one of the methods of producing these non-oven fabrics and here we make a web out of the fibers and we have the barbed needles in the knitting needling machine. These needles are made to pass through the web up and down which create a lot of entanglements and also a self-locking structure. So that is how a needle punch non-oven is produced. Imitation sewed and needle punched felt. Both of these fabrics are non-oven. Because there is no grain, the fabrics stretch equally in both directions and can be molded into a three-dimensional shape. Fabric combinations. One is the pleather. The fiber content is vinyl, polyester, spandex. No yarns are used, but the back is filament. And on face side, no yarn is used. It is used in jackets, gloves, pants, and vests. The characteristics of pleather fabric are it is an embossed film that has been laminated to a jersey. In this example, the resultant fabric is an imitation or vegan leather. Now we are going to discuss the bonded fabric. The bonding is done by taking two fibers and then it is heat pressed. And this fabric is also called pleather. The fiber contents are vinyl, polyester, spandex. The particulars of the fabric are 58 into 38. It is a solution dyed material. It weighs 5.1 ounces per square yard and is used in jackets, gloves, pants, vests. Sherpa fleece. The fiber contents are polyester and acrylic. Filament yarn is used. It is used in jackets, gloves, vests and bags. The characteristics are Sherpa fleece is meant to imitate shearing which is lambskin with the hair still intact. It is 
in this way it is very much like actual fur rather than a suit or leather. The Sherpa provide, provided as a sliver knit face a high pile made on a jersey fabric bonded to a suited tricot on the back. The fabric is self lined. This is an example for a bonded fabric which is called Sherpa fleece. The fiber contents are polyester and acrylic. Both are filaments. The particulars of the fabric are 30 into 32 and it is a piece dyed fabric. The weight of the fabric is 13.35 ounces per square yard. It is used in jackets, gloves, vests and bags. Soft shell. The fiber content is polyester. The yarn used is a spun one and it is used in jackets, gloves, vests and bags. Soft shell fabrics combine the benefits of a woven fabric hard shell with a softer, more breathable and flexible knit or nono one for maximum performance. Finished with a durable water repellent treatment or a waterproof membrane, these fabrics are self-lined and perfect for rain gear. This soft shell combines a fine woven twill bonded to a soft fuzzy nono one used as lining in the garment. This is called soft shell and it's made of polyester spun yarn. The particulars of the fabric are 68 into 48. The weight of the fabric is 9.1 ounces per square yard. It is used in jackets, gloves, vests and bags. Leather, Sherpa fleece and soft shell, they have got a lot of similarities. They are laminated or bonded fabrics and uh, made into two or three layers of fabric that are joined together through a number of processes. The layering in these fabrics changes the weight, hand and performance of the original fabric. Individually the fabrics may be woven or knit but the fabric has a new value by virtue of being layered. Quilt, the fiber content is polyester and filament yarn is used. It is used in jackets, vests and bags. A quilted fabric is three layers of fabric, three different fabrics that are sewn together with a decorative stitch. Traditionally, the face is woven, the backing is a simple muslin and the middle layer a non-woven batting. This fabric is knitted on the face and the back. This is the quilt fabric which is made out of polyester filament and the particulars of the fabric are 42 into 42. It is a piece dyed one. Fabrics made with yarn but not woven or knit. Embroid, embroidered eyelet. The fiber content used is cotton and the yarn is a spun one. It is used in blouses, dresses, children's wear. Embroidered is a surface embellishment stitched onto an existing fabric. Holes are often placed in the fabric and the fabric is then called an embroidered eyelet. A dress fabric characterized cut out areas of figures that are stitching around them. Base fabrics for eyelet embroidery include batist, lawn, PK, broadcloth and organdy. This is the embroidered eyelet. It is made of a spun cotton yarn. The particulars of the fabric are 17 to 74. It is a piece bleached fabric. The weight of the fabric is 2.29 ounces per square yard. It is used in blouses, dresses, children's wear. Tufted chenille. The fiber contents are polyester and nylon. It is used in the, as a filament yarn. The fabric finds application in bedding and in robes. In tufted chenille, yarns are inserted into an existing ground weave, much like carpeting. The industry often calls this fabric minky due to its incredibly soft mink like hand. Made on a tricot body, this is a more contemporary variation of tufting. Here is an example of a tufted chenille. The details of the chenille law were given in one of the lectures. The fiber contents are polyester and nylon. The yarn construction that is used is filament one. The particulars of the fabric are 25 into 28. It is a piece dyed fabric. 
It weighs 7.27 ounces per square yard and it is used in bedding and robes. Quilt, embroidered, eyelet and tufted chenil have got lot of similarities. The similarities include that these are created by combining layers of fabrics or the addition of yarns to the existing structure. Quilt and shafted chenille are subsequently much warmer. Differences are a quilt is created by layering fabrics together to form a three-dimensional fabric. Embroideries use extra yarns to create dimension and design. Eyelets are holes in the fabric. Tufted chenille uses yarns inserted into the existing fabric to become thicker, warmer and softer. Venice lace, guy pure. The material used is polyester and it is a filament yarn. It is used in evening wear and bridal wear also. We introduce to you a fabric which is called Venice lace, guy pure. It is made out of 100% polyester filament yarn and it is a piece dyed fabric. It weighs 9.86 ounces per square yard and finds application in evening wear and bridal. Real lace is neither woven nor knit. It is made by a number of varied processes including looping, twisting and knotting. Making face is a slow and arduous process. Some actual lace types are levers, chantilly, alencon, Clooney and Nottingham. That lace is often named for the place from where it was first created and hence these names are existing. There are a number of ways to tell actual lace from common rushel. The first and easiest is to look at the price. Real lace can be quite expensive. Next, check the underlying grid or hex net that the lace is made on. Rachel is often made on a diamond or hex net ground and so its base grid is relatively uniform although today there are some complex jacquardtronic variations. The ground mesh of a real lace is often more irregular. Also if the lace is levers, the picards are noticed at the bottom. These do not occur on a rachel. The most reliable way to tell is to look closely at the fabric with a pick glass. You can see that rachels are made of knit stitches. Venice lace is embroidery created on a fabric that dissolves in water after the embroidery is complete. Effectively, this is embroidery in the air since the foundation fabric has been dissolved away. Fabrics made without yarn or fiber. Film. Vinyl fiber is a one that is used. No yarns are used in this construction. Embossing is used as a finish. It is used in bags and shoes. Vinyl is fiber, the fabric is called film. Film is created by pouring liquid vinyl onto a collection surface to the desired thickness gauge, allowing it to dry. As such, this fabric has no yarns and no grain. Although this fabric does not have a backing, films are often bonded to another fabric for durability. Gorid Tex. The material used is nylon and it is a filament yarn. It is used in active and athletic wear. Goretex is a bonded film hidden on the inside that is specially fabricated to be windproof, waterproof and breathable barriers. For this reason, the fabric is in high demand for outdoor wear. This example is three layers and does not require a lining. Face of the fabric is a herringbone. The middle layer is a high performance film that is a barrier to rain yet allows perspiration to vapor out and the inside is a tricot. This fabric is a good example of a woven bonded to a knit. Neoprene. The neoprene consists of 81% nylon and 19% spandex which is in the center. It is a filament yarn. It is used in active athletic and scoob. The characteristics of the neon consists of neoprene has traditionally been used extensively for underwater activities, wet suits for scoob and driving, scuba and driving, diving. This is an elastic layered construction meant to retain body heat and keep the wearer completely dry, resistant to oils, water, heat and solvents, 
neoprene has found a permanent home in wetware. Currently, it is also being used for fashion applications due to its ability to conform to the body. A cut edge is a finished edge requiring no hems or, or further finishing. So, it can be used for slits and cut areas of a garment. This example is a bonded S foam which means that it is a super lightweight. Goretex and neoprene have some similarities in that films are constructed without yarns or fibers creating a non-porous smooth surface without a grain. The differences lie in the fact that Goretex is much more interesting since a high performance laminate is added to the film layer which allows it to be waterproof, windproof and breathable. Neoprene is a type of foam extrusion made with a heat press for maximum underwater performance. Leather, the fiber content is pig and tanning is the finish that is applied. It is used in jackets, pants, bags and shoes. The characteristics include leather is the outside layer of the skin of an animal, usually cattle. This one is pig skin which is being used more often today as consumers are requiring lighter weight leather. Sewed, it is lamb or pig and the finish applied is tanning. It is used in jackets, pants, bags and shoes. The characteristics are sewed is the inside layer of the animal skin and is therefore softer, more textured and more supple. Lamb is prized for its soft hand.